Hello guys, since their trial began, there has been speculation about whether Amber Heard could go to jail for Johnny Depp's verdict in their defamation case, as well as the possibility that she could be charged with perjury now that the trial is over. From 2015 to 2016, Depp and Heard were married. After 15 months of marriage, Heard filed for divorce in May 2016. She also obtained a temporary restraining order against Depp in her divorce filing, claiming that he abused her while under the influenza, drugs, and alcohol. Depp denied the allegations, and a $7 million out-of-court settlement was reached in August 2016. Hurt stated that the money would be donated to the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Our relationship was intensely passionate and volatile at times, but it was always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations in order to gain financial advantage. There was never any intention of physical or emotional harm. The two assistants said at the time in a joint statement. Hurt published an op-ed in the Washington Post in 2018 about her experience with domestic abuse. While she did not specifically mention Depp, many assumed that the post was about her ex-husband. In 2019, Depp sued Hurt for $15 million in defamation, claiming that the op-ed cost him roles in Walt Disney Pictures' Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and Warner Brothers Pictures' Fantastic Beasts series. For her part, Hurt countersued Depp for $100 million. The trial began in April 2022 and ended in June 2022 when a seven-person jury comprised of five men and two women found Hurt liable on all three counts of defamation in her lawsuit with Depp. The jury awarded Depp $15 million in compensatory and punitive damages for a total of $15 million. Depp, for his part, was found guilty by a jury of one count of defamation against Hurt and ordered to pay her $2 million in compensatory damages and zero in punitive damages for a total of $2 million. Due to Virginia state law's punitive damages cap, Judge Penny as Karate reduced Hurt's punitive damages from $5 million to $350,000. If Hurt and Depp's damages are offset, Hurt must pay Depp a total of $8.35 million in damages, including the $2 million in compensatory damages he owes her. So, could Amber Hurt go to jail as a result of Johnny Depp's verdict? Read on to learn what lawyers have said about Amber Hurt's chances of going to jail and being charged with perjury following Depp's victory in their defamation case. Is Amber Heard going to prison as a result of Johnny Depp's verdict? No, Heard will now go to jail after being found guilty of defaming Depp. Defamation lawsuit against Heard is a civil case, not a criminal one, so she will now go to jail as a result of her guilty verdict. You don't go to a jail as a result of a civil finding. Media Law Resource Center attorney George Freeman told Fox News in May 2022, Heard, on the other hand, could face prison time if she is charged with and convicted of perjury, the crime of willfully lying in court under oath. The only way what has happened in Virginia could lead to her being imprisoned is if she is accused and convicted of perjury, which there has been no official accusation of and which appears quite remote. He said Freeman, who specializes in First Amendment cases, told Fox News that in his four decades of practice, he has never seen a person charged with perjury in a civil case. Tim Parlatori, a civil and criminal attorney, also told Fox News that he doubts Heard will be charged with perjury. He told the publication that the prosecution would have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Heard intentionally said something that wasn't true and knew that it wasn't true in order for her to be charged with perjury, which is difficult to prove. Civil attorney Broderick Dunn, who practices in Virginia, or Heard and Depp's trial was held, also explained to Fox News why perjury charges are often dropped in abuse cases. There are a lot of perjury cases that could be brought that errant to prevent a chilling effect on people with domestic violence claims, he said, explaining that perjury charges could discourage victims from coming forward with their allegations for fear of facing prison time. According to parlatory, Hurd and Depp's backgrounds as actors may also prevent law enforcement from pursuing perjury charges against Hurd. When you have professional actors on the stand, all of the normal ability to judge a witness's demeanor and truthfulness goes out the window, he said. However, if Hurd is convicted of perjury, he faces a maximum 10-year prison sentence under Virginia law. That's all we've got for now. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. Mm-hmm.